Well, hi guys. Long time, no see. I have a lot of catching up to do with you guys, so let's hop on into where the heck I've been. Oh my gosh. I, <laughs> I forgot I had the sprinkler on outside. It literally was like sitting in the same spot for an hour. Oops, my bad. Anyways, I just ran upstairs, but let's get you guys caught up to date in the most efficient way. This is just, this is going to be a one-off vlog explaining where I've been for the past like 25 days. I've not uploaded on YouTube for the past 25 days and I know it's like dramatic, like, oh my gosh, I haven't been on for a few weeks and I just wanna explain like where I've been, but I feel like I owe that to you guys. I'm not trying to be over dramatic. Just want to catch you guys up as to what's going on. So let's backwards, let's, let's rewind back six weeks, okay? I got back from my vacation and as you guys know, I really struggle with UTIs and I came back with a UTI every single time I like get into a pool or I get dehydrated or get any kind of, or I like drink any sort of like alcoholic beverage, I get a UTI and we are trying to get to the bottom of that right now and figure out like what is going on. Last time I was struggling with these recurrent UTIs, I actually got my IUD out and that seemed to solve it. So I think that is the path that we are going down right now because structurally everything looks okay. Um, I just might not react well to the IUD. There might be like bacteria that builds up on the, well, uh, that's TMI, but like, <laughs> build up like on the like strings, okay, from like the IUD anyways. So again, TMI, but that is what I've been struggling with lately. Um, and I just want to be really open and raw and real and honest about that. So I was put on five days of antibiotics for that. And then a week after that, I went and I got my first, um, you know what? Um, I do not, I cannot, I cannot like, it just like all of the social media platforms tend to like filter you when you talk about the, you know what, the V, we call it the V. <laughs> um, and I got the P. Uh, v, that sounds terrible, that sounds terrible. Anyway, uh, that's what I got. Um, and it triggered an ocular migraine for me, which migraines and headaches are very common side effects. The only other time I've ever had a migraine in my life is right after I had recovered from the C word. Um, or like it was like two weeks after I had the C word. Um, so I feel like it was just in direct correlation like with getting that. So it's just probably the way my body reacts. Um, and then I also kind of got like a stuffy nose from it. Um, it also could have been from like allergies because it's like tilling season at that point in time where I live in Minnesota. So it could have been allergies, but then um, I was struggling with these constant headaches and they would knock me off my feet. They weren't like, I wouldn't say like quite migraines um, compared to like my ocular migraine that I had, but they were very intense headaches and I was very congested ended up finding out I had a sinus infection and I had to go on another round of antibiotics. Now I am not an antibiotic lover and I explained this on my Instagram stories the other day. I'm not, I don't like using antibiotics unless I absolutely have to um, just because I'm so afraid of antibiotic resistance and I've dealt with that in the past with a couple of UTIs they were antibiotic resistant. So I just, don't like taking antibiotics unless I absolutely have to. So in the meantime, I, so I had that going on. So UTI got the, you know what, and then suffered like from these headaches and this migraine, had a lot of really bad congestion. There was like a solid week where every single time Mike would call me, he'd be like, you sound funny. You sound weird. Like you sound like you're sick. And I'm like, well, yeah, I, I like, have been congested, but it hasn't been anything intense. So, anywho, um, I then, after my sinus infection cleared up, um, got my second round of the you know what. I had no reactions, I was just fine. Um, and then the next week, my UTI symptoms came back with a vengeance. So, mm, what I'm assuming is that my UTI probably just did not go away entirely. Um, it wasn't probably treated for long enough. So, the 
bacteria numbers were probably lower and then started to build up you know over a couple of weeks again I, it could have been another trigger um, I could have been dehydrated for a day and it just got triggered again but this time it was really really bad and this was two weeks ago so we're like four weeks into like my whole like health like crisis um, and in the meantime my mental health is spiraling um, because I'm so used to being a happy and healthy and motivated individual and I just wasn't during this time. So I'm getting emotional, but like it was a really tough time for me and I am a very happy and open person and our M&M Rustic schedule at the time, our side business had just become so overwhelming between like me being sick and not being able to take care of the kids some days. There were like several days Mike had to stay home from work and help me out with the kids because I literally could not move. Um, yeah, just was really struggling mentally and picking up a camera was so difficult for me. I really like to talk to you guys in those times where I'm struggling so that I can I can help others. That's what I am here for is to, I get so emotional, but I'm just such a wuss. I am such a baby, but I, I just, I want other women and mamas to know that you are not alone in your mental struggles or in your health struggles. You're not alone. We are super mamas, super women, but sometimes our cape is just in need of repair. And that is where I was at as far as my mental and physical health. Um, during that time, I kind of paused my keto and my low carb and I really just focused on eating whole food and like being good to my body with like, like the obvious like once in a while like occasional treat to myself or cheat um i was living by that 80 20 rule if you will but i was still eating very healthy trying to help my body out in any way that i could um but i wasn't focused on weight loss at that point in time but i did not gain anything which i'm very happy about um because i've worked so hard for my weight loss so um, side note, this is like one of my new favorite drinks. It's, um, they're called bubblers and I can only get them at like a few places in town. I can't get them at Walmart. I can't get them at Target. None of the big box stores have them. Only my local grocery stores have them, but this is the twisted elixir raspberry lime citrus and it seriously tastes like a pink starburst. It's so good. Anywho, so, um, when I got that last UTI, it was really bad, really bad. I was just, I was on the toilet, I was crying, like again, TMI, but I'm just like, I was just crying and it's in so much pain. Finally got on a 10 day antibiotic that knocked the crap out of my system. It felt like there was some kind of internal war going on, which I guess essentially there, like really there was. <laughs> um, but it just drugged me down the first week of taking that antibiotic, knocked me on my butt. Um, I never really had a fever with um, this UTI, but it was so severe with the pain. Um, and I was so grateful when the pain finally was subsiding. Um, I also recently, I'm gonna get into this in another video, but I. I ordered this, the second I got that that other UTI, I ordered something called Eucora. Um, I was doing a lot of research online, trying to figure out like wh what I could do to eliminate these UTIs forever. So in combination with getting my marina taken out here soon, um, at the end of June I will have it taken out, um, and I will resort to the old fashioned methods of preventing until we're ready for number three. Um, I'm just feeling like birth control is not really the greatest option for me and my body right now, and that's okay. It's okay to to choose birth control, and that's and it's okay to not, and that is what I'm choosing to do is just not for now to to try and get my body back on track and really hone in my health and wellness. So, anyways, I also like I said started Eucora at the same time um, that I started these antibiotics and. It has been a couple of weeks now and I am I am feeling relief like I've never felt or I haven't felt for the past couple of years. Um, I'm feeling really good. I've chosen to eliminate some of the um, causes of my UTIs um, such as like, like beer is a really big one and I love having like the occasional 
beer in the summertime is just my, it's just my favorite okay i just love it or truly or whatever but malted beverages in general seem to be a huge trigger for me so i'm just going to eliminate alcohol for the time being and, and i'm gonna see if that helps with my uti prevention in combination with the other two things so um anyway so physically like that's what's going going on i mentioned that um a few weeks ago like two it was like two three weeks ago my mental health really started slipping because i was so sick and tired of being sick and tired um yeah it was just it was a really hard time for me um it was short-lived thank goodness um, i'm kind of getting to the end of it now some of the contributing factors we like i said just eminem rustics has been insanity which is an absolute blessing at the same time and i'm not complaining about it whatsoever but with uh there's a combination of like lumber prices are up like 360 percent um across the board and our prices have therefore been increasing on our products but also our orders have we have seen a 250 percent increase in our sales even with the lumber prices going up and it is overwhelming it is amazing overwhelming but with all of my health things going on and like just not feeling well mentally physically it was it was a lot to take on when mike was having to be in the shop every single night catching up on orders after work um and I just lost it. I completely lost it. I like was really losing my will and my motivation to like get things done. The laundry piled up, the dishes piled up, the house was an absolute disaster and I was having meltdowns a lot. I know I obviously don't owe an explanation to everybody, but I feel like I do. <laughs> And I just, I'm going to start uploading regularly again and I don't want you guys to be like, oh my gosh, what happened? Where did she go? I was just burnt out, guys. Both ends, burning the candle at both ends. And I was struggling. And I just want to open up about that. Again, I'm not saying my situation is worse than somebody else's. And I am, am just voicing where i've been and what happened to me and advocating for other women and mamas who have gone through tough times we have the highest of highs we have the lowest of lows the past year has been really insane for a lot of us and it is taking a toll on us and yeah i guess i just wanted to come on here and explain what's been going on and thank you guys for all of the messages and checking in i do not deserve you i i do not deserve this amazing community just so many women and mamas and friends that i have met on the internet and you know social media gets such a bad rap but i have the most amazing followers <laughs> and I don't deserve you. I don't deserve you. Um, anyway, that's where I've been. And thank you so much for the well wishes and the kind words. I am so grateful for each and every single one of you. And yeah, like I said, this is like the most overdramatic like YouTube girl video ever. But I just, I had to come on here and be a voice so anyways all right well that's where i've been that's what's been going on i'm finally feeling so much better i am still dealing with some like leftover crippling anxiety and that's just because of our m&m schedule um and all of that craziness going on and the with the weather warming up the kids are outside all the time and it's really really hard to watch both of the kids and like be filming and like doing all the things at the same time it's just it's so hard it's so hard to for like one person especially when like the fence is still not up we plan on getting it up not this weekend but next weekend so it's just been it's just been hard it's just been hard um trying to do it by myself trying to build our dream life and me as and me also trying to be 
the best person I can be, the, me the best role model for my family, for my siblings, for my children, and being a support to my husband, my best friend in the entire world. Trying to be the best person I can be lately has been difficult and I just wanted to talk about that a little bit and that it's okay. It's okay to struggle sometimes. So anyways, okay, cheers mamas. That's where I've been. I am back in full force and I'm so excited to connect with you guys. Like I, like I said, I don't deserve you at all, but I'm so happy that you're here. If you're new here and you're watching this hot mess of a video, welcome. My name is Morgan. I am a hot mess mama. I cannot keep things under control 90% of the time. And I've been struggling with mental and physical health for the past six weeks. If you can relate to any of that, hit that subscribe button, follow along on this crazy mama journey. And I'm just here to be that raw, real, light that so many people need to see on social media nowadays you need to see the real life stuff it's not all sunshines and rainbows i'm a real human being like a normal real human being i've been digging in the dirt trying to use that as my therapy for the past like couple of weeks and yeah just a very real person i'm a real person so Anyways, with that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I know I felt dramatic. I just wanted to come on here and explain to you where in the world I've been. And if you are going through something similar, just know that I am here for you. Drop it in the comments below. DM me on Instagram. I will always respond to you guys. And I'm always here for you because I'm not just here to like gain followers. I'm here to create a community. And this community is a safe space for women, for mamas, for anybody who just feels like they need a community to belong to and for a bunch of women to have their backs. That is what I am here for and what I stand for. So, all right, to all of my fellow hippie mamas, I love you so much. And I will see you in a couple of days for another vlog. And I'm gonna catch you up today as to like, what has been going on in the rest of the house? How are the kids? How is the backyard coming along? How is the landscaping as you can see from my dirty hands? I have been digging in the dirt for days, like cuts, cuts all over my hands, okay? Sacrificing my hands for a beautiful oasis. So anyways, guys, I will see you in a couple days for a vlog catching you up on the rest of all of the things. Until then, go and check out my At Home With Morgan videos because I do have a couple of new videos over on that channel, including a shop organization video, which I worked so hard on and every muscle in my body hurt for days afterwards. So if you need to organize your shop, head over there. And also I have a front porch makeover you're not gonna wanna miss. Uh, this one is a big one and that's all I'm gonna say. Okay, all right, I love you guys so much and I will see you in a couple days for another really fun video, okay? Bye guys. <laughs>